Well, good evening and welcome to our seventh session in our Parent Aid Ed series. Tonight, we're going to be talking about careers and accessing career support, including apprenticeships. My name is John Walker and I'm the head of careers at SGS College. And so I'd like to invite you to join me for the next 15 minutes where I'll unpack some of the support that we give to your children and to yourselves in this really important part of their education. So supporting students through their educational journey is sometimes a bit like being on an archery range. Someone famous once said that the great danger for most of us lies not in setting our aim too high and falling short, but actually in setting our aim too low and achieving just that low mark. In careers guidance, we steady that bow and we sharpen the arrow for the student. So career choices for a 16 to 18 year old can be actually quite confusing because there are many, many opportunities, many, many pathways that they could choose having done BTECs or A-levels or GCSEs with us. So your children, our students, are going through a really interesting phase of development when they come to us. It's said that the decision-making part of the teenage brain is far from fully developed, meaning that they are making big decisions while their brains are still rapidly changing. So it's important for teenagers to have that space and the time needed to make a decision on their own. And this is what we hope to accomplish in our careers guidance at college. So while our students are with us, we want to make sure that they're filling up a toolbox of careers resources to help them decide on their next steps. And one of the first and most important foundations for them is a psychometric test, which unpacks their personality and the types of jobs they might enjoy and excel at. This is really helping them to understand how they tick. And remember, their brains are continuing to develop at a rapid pace at this time. And so this really helps them to start thinking about who they are and who they could develop into. One of the um, quizzes that we do is called the buzz quiz. This is based on what's called the Myers-Briggs personality type indicator, which is used worldwide by industries to help companies work with their employees and match them to jobs that they will really perform well in. This buzz quiz only takes about 10 minutes and it helps a student understand who they are. They're given an animal name and that animal is just a fun way of doing it. And this links then to people in public life and to jobs that would be good for that sort of personality. Another psychometric test is what's called a Spartan test run by SACU. And this consists of a set of four pictures in a number of questions rapidly uh, presented to a student and they pick the one that best represents them. And what happens is finally, after about 20 minutes of, of questioning, it generates what's called a careers cloud. And that gives a student, again, some of those jobs and careers that their personality and their likes and dislikes would be well fitted to. Every student is um, secondly given an opportunity to look at their skills. Um, what skills do they have and what do they need to develop? This is done through our partner organization, Career Pilot, and we have an extensive website that belongs to Career Pilot. And here's an example of the different types of skills that they would self assess themselves for. And um, then they can also compare those skills to jobs that they'd like to do. So, what they're doing is they're matching the things that they're good at and also the things that they could develop in the future and while they're with us. Thirdly, students have chosen a particular course, whether it's a BTEC diploma or it may be a set of um, A-levels or GCSEs um, that they've come to do with us. And so what are those various pathways from their course that lead to a career? And what we've done is we develop what's called a career tree. So here's an example of a sports career tree. Someone who's come to do a diploma in sports would naturally look at things to do with health, fitness and well-being. But they would also be exposed to things like retail, business, media, teaching and coaching, professional qualifications and science, because all of these link to sport. 
Um, and sometimes students don't realise that there is a wide amount of jobs and possibilities through one of our disciplines. We also augment that by bringing in inspiring speakers, either virtually or in class. And then there is an extensive set of work placements that every student goes on. And again, that would also give them exposure to different opportunities and career types. We know our students are nearing that time when they may be starting work quite soon after they leave us. And so we want to make sure that everyone has the opportunity to understand the jobs market, something that they haven't really thought of too much at 16. But we certainly hope that by 18, they'll have more understanding of that. What do the jobs out there look like? What are the salaries? What are the opportunities? What is the growth or decline in that particular job sector? And what we use is a really good um, set of tools from something called LMI or Labour Market Information for All. And here's an example of what's available on our website and the students can click on um, a tile. These are three tiles and there's graphic design, occupational therapy and librarians. It'll tell you what the weekly pay is, the annual pay, whether it's changing positively or negatively. And then there is more information behind each of these tiles so they can compare different um, possible uh, work and career opportunities before they embark on, say, applying to university or into an apprenticeship uh, or out to work. So after a while at college, we're then able to give a student the opportunity to attend a one-to-one -one careers guidance session because they've understood what their course is about, they've understood a bit about themselves, and they've started thinking about jobs. But now they've got lots of questions, and this is a really important session where they can chat to a qualified advisor in a secure environment where they can be free to chat and not feel any pressure from tutors or classes. The team that work with uh, the career service is wide and diverse on every campus and they work directly with employers finding out what employers are needing in our area. They work with our governors to make sure that the college is steered in a strategic way to help careers at every level. And our commitment is that we will always be impartial. We do always what's best for the student and their future. We have uh, in our midst um, all our careers advisors being graduate qualified. Um, they all give 45 minute to an hour relaxed and confidential one-to-one -one interviews. They provide a written summary of recommended actions so the student has a clear understanding of what they need to do next. And there are follow-up sessions if a student is still confused or needs a bit more support. And we also deliver careers related workshops into classrooms, things like UCAS or CD writing. So to summarize, the pathway to a career choice for a student and their destination is like walking across stepping stones across a river. For instance, it could start with the student being really motivated by the coursework that they're doing. Then it could be an employer visit or someone coming in to talk about a particular career that inspires them. Then they could be having a one-to-one -one session with the careers advisor to really unpack and clarify what next steps they need to take and what opportunities there are out there. Parents are an important influence with a student on crossing that river. Then there's the personal research that a student needs to do and will be encouraged to do, whether it's apply to university, looking at apprenticeships, looking at jobs, looking at labour market. Then they could be going off to university and having a taster, a summer school there. Then again, it, there could be a repeat session with a careers advisor. Then the tutor themselves, who knows a lot about the subject content, is a really inspiring person to help that student. And finally, the work placement every student does really helps to cement whether a certain aspect, a certain discipline is that what they want to go into. And finally, there is a handy parent zone for all career related matters at www.sgscol.ac.uk forward slash careers, where all of our contact information is deposited and there is 
a link to a partner career pilot who have got particularly helpful resources for parents. Thank you for listening. I hope it's been helpful. Please get in touch if you need to have any more support from us. We're here um, Monday to Friday, nine to five, and we'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much.